Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about ticker symbol TXMD. First off, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not finance advice, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Uh, we had a pretty terrible day with everyone else, and it wasn't as bad as everyone else's really. We're honestly holding up relatively nicely, especially since on the 11th we gapped up... Uh, to the one one fifty ish range, and we're ho as long as there's not a huge sell off again tomorrow. I see us holding that. Otherwise, we're gonna come back and test these one twenty levels, I believe. Uh, but tomorrow's the witching day. I'm not gonna get too much into that, but anything could happen. Could expect super gray market or super red, so you never know. But that's with any day. So I it, I kind of want to get into. I expect this run to be a very similar to this one. I mean, we're going to be kind of battling every 10 cents, but since we had this big gap up to 150, we might gap up sooner, but the big breakthrough will probably be about the 185, 190 range, uh, similar to here. But once again, we're going to have to just start seeing some more volume. Uh, we're holding pretty steady, so I'm not I'm not worried about this stock. As you can see, we've already started to break out of the Bollinger Band here, and then we we're probably about to, and then kind of just got caught up in the bad market. Uh, NASDAQ got absolutely killed, but... Yeah, I mean, my kind of strategy for this is once we break up over this $2 mark, I mean, I'm looking for 5 but then you kind of just got to watch from there because, I mean, once once you start getting in the hot, like, each dollar you gain, more people become more interested in you. Like, some people don't like buying dollar stocks. Uh, this is just in my opinion, not financial advice, no financial advisor. But once you start seeing those, once you get up to $5, sometimes you can really rock it straight up to $10, like, because just more people, you're just on a lot more people's radar than, uh, I got in BNGO and Jivo in there and, uh, Dollar Land, and the dollars were pretty tough, but then once it hit $5, it was pretty, like, skyrocket to 10, and then not too long after 15, and then, yeah, of course, they took the dip with, uh, but if you didn't sell off by then, I mean, you kind of missed the butt if you got in in Dollar Land, but neither here nor there, uh, so I expect, I mean, it's going to be a battle every 10 cents, uh, and then probably a gap up after 190. Once we start seeing f some volume, that's what I expect. And like I said, uh, kind of expect anything tomorrow, either from like, we're either going to test this range or the market's going to pop off. I really think it's going to go crazy, uh, but that's just my opinion. I'm no finance financial advisor. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this one. I'm still super bullish on this one. Like I said, probably going to ride it up once we start seeing twos and then we'll break to threes. And then once we get to five, I'll kind of watch from there to see if we shoot up or I might take some profits off the top and just re-enter to ride the right up to 10. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps, uh, my channel get out to more people. I appreciate it. See y'all next time.